So we're here at a coffee farm uh, just outside of Bogota in Colombia and uh, we're going to see how the coffee is grown and made and prepared. And then hopefully try some. And hopefully try some Yay. as well, should be cool. It's very pretty with lots of lovely exotic flowers that are just kind of normal for here. There's a wonderful orchid that's growing over there. Okay, so we're just learning about how a coffee bean goes from being a seed to a full plant that produces its own coffee beans. So what happens is the seeds are planted in very very fertile soil and just covered over and like kept that way for about five months until they're uh, they've germinated and start growing and then after that they'll then be moved to big plants planted in the ground. So these little plants here, two months old, these ones are six months and after that they are taken out there and planted in rows to grow into full-on plants. Here in the coffee plantation they replace the plants every 20 years and they're just going through that cycle at the moment so they've replaced half of them, um, well they're replacing half of them at the moment and then in a couple of years time they'll replace the rest. What have we got there? It's a very slimy coffee bean, very young, still growing. So they only grow Arabica beans here. Um, and they have a kind of a system where once the plant gets to about one and a half meters tall they cut the top off and stop it growing any taller and then they let it spread out and they prune it after 50 centimeters and it'll grow two branches and then they prune it again and grow two more and they stop it at 150, meters, uh, 150 centimeters. So all of this as far as we can see is all coffee plants. Um, you can see at the moment most of the beans are green but when they turn red like this that means they're ready to be picked and they usually harvest the plants every kind of three weeks here because there's quite a lot of shade and cloud cover but when it's really hot and sunny in certain coffee farms they harvest them every week um, but yeah it's pretty amazing to see all the beans here growing so this bean here has a little hole in it which means that a little beetle has burrowed inside it and eaten the contents of the bean so it's squidgy, it's hollow so that all the goodness of the bean has gone so what they do when they're harvesting uh, they sometimes they harvest all the red ones and then they put them in water and the ones that float are the ones that have been eaten on the inside by beetles so they just chuck all the floating ones away and if they spot them on the trees whilst they have with beetles in them they'll also try and pick them and get rid of them so there's a bit of a problem with that but they try and stop the spread of the beetles that eat the coffee coffee eating bastard beetles Oh, we've just broken it. Oh. It's nasty inside. So that's the little bug that eats the inside of the coffee beans. Mm. You gotta get one? Yes. the sort of different stages of the coffee bean and how the coffee's made. So the beans start off green like that and they turn a nice red and then the shell is taken away, pulled off and discarded and then the dried, what's left is dried, let's make that and then the second skin is removed and you get this, the final bean, which is then roasted. So these are the four different stages of the bean before it's roasted. It's pretty cool. Squeeze it in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> you know do. Oh my god, it's sweet. Really nice. Super sweet. <laughs> Slimy. <laughs> Come. Chubu, okay. Just take the juice out, suck the juice. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's pepita. Very sweet. Yeah. Lovely. Mmm. This is another variety of coffee bean and this one is yellow instead of red. So this is where they take the beans, they pop them in this machine here and they turn this and it grinds and takes the skins off and then drops all the beans in here as you can see. They then leave the beans in there for kind of 15 hours 
um, and just let them settle and then they fill the thing with water and they see which ones float and they get rid of the floating ones because they're the bad beans. And yeah, this is the machine where they use it. Why in hell? Make some coffee. Making coffee! <laughs> Okay, so here we have the coffee beans that have been through the machine and have had their first skin removed uh, and then they have a second skin uh, they get dried out of the area here where they dry them for a long time this whole roof moves um, and then they have a machine that will take off these skins but you can see if you take off the second skin you've got the bean underneath and this is the bean that is actually roasted to make the final product, to make the final coffee, roast coffee beans that are used for drinking. So there we go, it's pretty amazing. Feels kind of nice. Looks a bit like a sugar puff at the moment. This is the sorting machine. It sorts out, make sure there's no rocks, leaves, bits of wood in there. Just get the beans out the end. So this machine is used to take the second skin off. It's the one we saw before. Just takes that last skin off and it's, so it's done by machine rather than by hand, so it's much more efficient. What happened here? This is the drying machine. It looks crazy inside. So this machine dries all of the coffee beans and they pass hot air, which is fueled by the second skin of the bean, pass hot air through this as it slowly turns round. Um, and that's, that's how they get a kind of a homogenous drying, um, which still retains the colour of the beans. Sang the machine was a Spanish who moved to Guatemala in about 140 years ago. where they roast the beans and they come from the basement down there all the way up through the roof down this pipe down here and into here and we've just seen a video of, their gut of how they roast it and it's sort of heated up in here and they use this to see what colour they are and whether it's ready and once it is ready they come shooting out of here and this thing starts turning around and they coat it all with water to lower the temperature really quickly because once it's ready in there they need to like cut the temperature really quickly because otherwise it will continue to cook. So it cooks at 200 degrees centigrade, which is very warm. Very warm. So we've also got a little peeling machine, which is this one, and a little roasting machine, which is this one, just to do a little bit of coffee making as well. This preparation for this coffee, I need seven grams only, but maybe eight would be good. Oh, uh, uh, eight grams per person. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm going to prepare eight cups, so 64 grams. So the water should not be boiling. It's very hot but not oily. So 8 grams and 100 millilitres of water. Okay. Per cup. So in total I use 800 millilitres. And I divide this amount of water in four. So I put four parts of 200. Right. I make it slowly because I want to get everything from it. If I put 800 at once, yeah. so it brews very, yeah, it brews very fast, it's and you get a tall cup. Oh. And this, you see the foam on the top? So that foam and the bubbles means that the cup is really, really fresh. Yeah. Warm up the cups. Okay. Before I serve the coffee, it's like when you cool your your, your glass for the beers. Right. Yeah. The same. Gorgeous. 
Bye, Smith. So we're in a Colombian, old Colombian car that was probably used to transport coffee from the looks of... In the old days. Yeah, in the old days from all the coffee bags on the back. And yeah, I don't think it drives anymore. I think it's just for show. Wait, this one is... <laughs> there we go. With the poncho. This is the chapel for the hacienda. So cute. Okay. So we've had a wonderful time here at Hacienda Coloma, um, seeing how the beans are grown and the process of getting it from the plant into the cup in front of us and actually tasting it as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to our channel for any future updates, any future videos that we might post, where, um, and hopefully you like it all. Please do send us a comment as well. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Detailed and long, I just think like a little girl.